Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I just wanted to go over this resource I created for Counter-Strike. Uh, this just allows me to track grenade lineups a little bit better. Uh, I'm using this for myself and for a couple of templates that I'm making within this app called Notion. I'll link these uh, reference links for Notion stuff in the description. This is their like documentation for guides on how to use their app, uh, introduction to their API if you're interested in using the back end of things, and their YouTube channel. I'll link all three of these in the description uh, just for, for your reference if you want to get into this more. You'll see that there's this duplicate page option. So for me, I I have this in my Notion workspace and can edit it freely. Uh, and in this share thing, I've set it so that this web version that I'm viewing in the browser, it can't be edited or commented on with like little comments on the page, uh, but it can be duplicated as a template. So if you have a Notion account or create a Notion account, it is free for personal use. Uh, you can create an account here on their website. You can go to this duplicate page and bring it to your workspace and customize this fully to your liking, change nade lineups to whichever ones you see fit and update all the data associated with that or use it for whatever you want. I'll just show one quick way that you could leverage this in your own workspace. I'm not gonna add this to uh, this version of it because I have an, uh, an alternative way of tracking plays um, and strategies in Counter-Strike. But uh, for if you were to just quickly duplicate this free page with all this data in it. If you wanted to make a playbook out of this really quickly, all you would have to do is add a new attribute along the top there. Create a multi-select called strats or whatever you want to call it, plays strats. So if you were to make this into just a simple playbook, what you could do is add these options to the multi-select or whichever ones you see fit for your playbook. But I've added ex an execute for each site, a split for each site, a retake for each site. And then you can just, for each piece of utility, if it, uh, like this one, it's, thro it's thrown for the area of A, it's a smoke from A main to palace. If that's going to be part of your A execute, you can do it here and then you can filter up here with strats and just like see only the utility that applies to specific strats. This doesn't allow for writing down the finer details of a strategy and like tracking that, which is why I have a different solution here, but it does allow for keeping track of utility with that added attribute there. Uh, so if you're looking to duplicate this uh, for your own, just keep in mind, you can you can add more attributes to filter this uh, in more powerful ways uh, and add different um, databases entirely that can uh, reference this. If you get comfortable with Notion and building databases with the relation tag, so you'll see here I have multiple databases, including the utility database and the strategies database relates to utility. So I can add utility and connect it to playbook utility. Anyways, onto the functions and use of this, you obviously have this uh, pre-baked view. I'll, I'll view it on the web so you see exactly what you get. So all of these are gonna be pre-sorted in this same sort of function. The all utility tab has one extra sort since uh, it's not filtered per map. Uh, so it's gonna sort it by map first and then area type from and to. And that's just the order of the attributes listed here, area type from to, and it's gonna order it. So you're gonna see all of the A utility first, and then it's gonna be smokes, molotovs, flashbangs, and some HEs if you have them. And then it's gonna just order these alphabetically with primary being from, and then to being the after uh, sort. And that will, that will organize the page by default. You can change that to your own liking uh, however you want and it'll just pop up with this reset button, which is all you'll have to do to change it back to how it was initially. And that's just dictated by whatever I have it set in here. I can click save for everyone and that will set the new default uh, for this page. For now, this is how I have it set up. And if you wanted to change that up and customize it, again, just uh, duplicate it up here. Uh, the, the powerful part of this database is the get pos. And I'll go to the Mirage view here just to demonstrate because I have Counter-Strike up here in a uh, Mirage practice server. And you will need to have cheats enabled in a practice server in order to use these commands. And you will need to be in the correct map for it to put you in the right location. If I wanted to, for example, learn the mid smoke, I'll go to the mid area here and I'll see from T spawn to nest. That's the one I want to learn. And there's even images here. And I'm going to have images in all of these fields very soon. Hopefully within the next week or two, every single view of this database will have images for all of these nade lineups. The checkboxes also need to be gone through and made sure that they're accurate 
accurate for each of these, but this attribute here is correct for all of the nades that have been added in here. So this will take you to the right location. I'll just have to fine tune the extra attributes. Uh, for now though, if I wanted to learn the T spawn to nest, I'm gonna grab this get pause attribute for this one into my clipboard. And then I'm gonna double check these, the crouch, walk, run, and jump, click, and the notes as well. But these next six attributes are the context for how to throw it once I get to this spot. So for the T spawn to nest, I don't need to crouch. I'm not holding shift to walk. I'm gonna run and I'm gonna jump with a left click throw. And for this one in particular, the notes are important. And I'll see in the notes that it says to press D. It's a D right strafe running jump throw with a left click at this location. And so I'm gonna take that copied location, paste it into my console with SV cheats enabled. And I'll see that this is where I am. It's looking right at this line in this V here. And it says to hit D, which will push me a little bit against this wall with an angle, adding me some forward momentum. And so it's a little bit different from the traditional ones that we've seen a lot of the times where you're pressing D against the bin. You're gonna be on the front of the bin here. And so I'll just paste it in again to get me exactly where I need to be. And then I'll do exactly what I said, D jump throw. And that's going to land right there. Perfect. So what I'm trying to do with this database is really just streamline the learning process of grenades and allow the filtering and sorting and access of these with visual references right from this view and this database. Um, and I have played a little bit with the Notion API in the past. So definitely expect a custom front end for all of these once it's fully populated. Hopefully by the new year, I'll have an actual web uh, a website that isn't just this front-facing Notion page where you can kind of see all of the information in a little bit more of a digestible way. And I'll try and customize that to be uh, as fluid as possible. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's basically it for this database. Yeah, super excited to see if anybody finds this tool useful and sees any potential for it in their own projects. Yeah, be sure to let me know what you think below and thanks for watching. Catch you later.